Hello, my name is Cheryl Wilson and I wanted to do a follow-up of a video I did a while back and it is additional, I think about four steps on how I make money as an artist in these times. So without further ado, here's the intro and then, then the video will follow. My name is Cheryl Wilson and about a year ago in February, in fact it was in February because it was before COVID, I did a video on how I make money as an artist and life was totally different then. That was when we could get out and do pop-ups and um, galleries were fully opened and commissions you go in people's houses they could come to yours life changed so I had to do an adjustment in how I sold my art because the world changed so I did um, a list of things that I've done this last year and it's how I sell art in 2021 and hopefully some of these other pop-ups and some of these other things that I love doing before as an artist will start to come back. In fact, I'm starting to see them come back. But these are things that I will keep now because I built them and um, they're working. And one of the beauty of some of these is they, they fall into the category of passive income. So it's basically once you create it and spend the time on it, um, you've done it and it keeps bringing in residual funds for you uh, day after day, week after week, month after month. And um, it's, it's a really um, upfront working process, but then after that, it's, it's nice. So on my first video, I went over our websites, repeat clients, commissions, local art galleries and little shops. Uh, pop-ups, coaching and mentoring, training, other sites, and YouTube channel. And I'll put the link below. In fact, at the end, I'll do the end video. It will take you there. So you can watch that video. And, um, you know, it's, it's a lengthy video. I put a lot of time into it. So it's got some good information. But this is an add-on that I think is information that I think that you will enjoy just as much. Um, one of the ways um, I learned to make money is in social media. While I don't go into a lot of detail on social media, um, I had to learn through courses, YouTube, other artists, looking, researching, how to increase my social media presence, how to ensure, and I do a lot on Instagram because I love Instagram. Uh, for me, I found it easier to build than Facebook, but other people love Facebook. I actually build on both. I build on Facebook personally, a personal page, a, a business page. Um, I do, I'm looking into even expanding that into groups. I build on Instagram through um, using a Linktree link on the top, which links to a lot of the things I'm going to tell you about today. Um, I post every day. I've learned a nine grid um, way of expressing myself where I make sure I include pictures of me. I mean, there's so much that this video is not about um, the social media, but I learned that social media was something that I had to, I even did some TikToks. Okay. <laughs> might not go there too far as of this video march 2021 but um that's 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 a whole nother story um i do a lot more live videos that's scary but it increases your traffic and gets people to know you i'm building this youtube channel i'm less than 100 hours away from being the the golden monetized and it's a goal for me i'm not sure where that's going to take me but those are things that you can do um to build your online presence for people to get to know you 
so that you can in turn um, some of these other avenues of bringing in money as an artist if that is your goal that um, it gives you exposure I used to think that bringing in money as an artist was about selling my art to my clients and that was it but I learned that a lot of my clients are some of my artists um, that follow me so um, and I have things that I have done in research that other artists would have asked me for. So I've turned that into a way to use as a revenue stream. Which brings me into uh, a passive income stream. I use a software called Payhip. Put the link below. And in that, I have developed, and I have a list here of several of the processes. If you know a process that you feel um, another artist would love and you can take that process and put it into steps then do it because on Payhip, I sell for just a small amount but it's income I bring in uh, every single month once I put it out there once I do the work on it and I put a lot of work into some of these you can sell these to other artists that would love to get these it saves them having to put the steps down for instance um questions to ask when you finish a painting how to move beyond is this finish painting finished um am i stuck questions to ask uh art rental agreement and contract and this was through a process of going through this myself when i was um letting stagers and realtors use my art this is a contract that I've developed that really helps mainly with the communication back and forth. Um, artist commission questionnaire. Um, I've done a lot of commissions. This just circumvents all the uneasiness and I have found that my clients love this questionnaire. Um, art prompts, 64 art prompts. And I've done a couple videos on that so I won't go into a lot of detail. Instagram marketing planner, a way to help artists um, build out their Instagram platform so that they can uh, use it to market themselves. An artist commission contract. And those are two different things. One's a questionnaire, um, which really helps hone in on what the client wants. And it, it makes it so easy, breaks it down. And the contract is actually, it's, it's, a better way for you as an artist and the client they feel more comfortable not a I mean it's a, I call it a contract um, but it's between you and the client but it spells things out so you're held accountable and the client understands what the expectations are and those are just like six of the things I've put out there but my point is in explaining these is their passive income you know things Say you build, um, you make paintbrushes out of um, different types of materials. That would be a great um, concept to put together that you could sell to other artists. And I mean, I'd love to know how to do that. Um, or there's a process that you've developed. You can put that down. Everything you do from um, even like small crafty things you've developed how to do that all the supplies that go into making a bow if you're you know a crafter and make wreaths all those things can go into a process document you can put it out on pay hip one time and sell it um another thing is um etsy downloadables now i said in my last video i wasn't a real big fan of of etsy but what i've learned in this last year is um Etsy has a great SEO bond. So what I'm saying there is Etsy, if you put your stuff out on Etsy and then you click it over to Pinterest and you know there's a lot of things behind that I won't go into, there's a purpose for Etsy. So what I use Etsy for is I know that um, there is a big trend for gallery walls. So while I don't put my original art out there, I have developed art pieces that will go really well on a gallery wall and um, as a grouping. So um, I've I 
have probably maybe 10 or 12 products and I'm selling them and I go over to Canva which is a free software the paid version gives you a little easier way to um, put them into the different sizes and I put them in I think five sizes so it doesn't have to be a zip file all the way from 8 by 10 to 24 by 36 so you develop a, a, a something that would go on a gallery wall or whatever it is that you want to put as a downloadable go over to canva do your process of putting it into the different files put it on etsy you upload it they download it they can print it on their printer or they can take it to a local uh, printer and have them print out posters and then they can frame them for the gallery wall i've even done some sets where i've taken different pieces that go well together for people put it together as a set for people to download um, that is also a um, passive income you put all the work into it up front put it out there and then when people buy it you don't have to send anything to them they download it and um, it's a way for um, you to put some really incredible art out there in uh, a mode that's kind of fun uh, zoom training now this is different than the mentoring um, there's a lot of people uh, in my local area that want training art training and they still don't want to go and I understand I, I don't want people in my home um, right now until we're all in a safe zone so zoom training is great there is, you can get zoom for free or you can buy a package um, where it gives you a few more things that you can do there's softwares which I won't go into that you can get like StreamYard, which you pay for for excuse me or um, I use OBS I use just the free version uh, and I did have to take the time to learn it where you can switch between screens but you don't even need that you can do zoom training with um, like one other person and you pick the charge you can do it sessions where you do you know a couple people at a time or you can do sessions where you're learning you know four sessions however you want it's different than a mentoring type of where I set up an agreement it's a it's a more um, you know softer way of doing training and um, people are jumping on that opportunity to have a training on say they get stuck on a painting and they want me to help them through to the end um, charge a nominal fee we talk about whatever they want to talk about do a zoom training and there's many ways you can schedule it and it's it's done it's it's fun it's low-key um, but it's it's a way for you to build um, in today's world some additional income and enjoy yourself as an artist in online galleries I have really built this up and uh, I have several that I work with I've sold original pieces and prints and I've done better this year than I've done in the past years because people all over the world are more uh, open to buying art online so that's been an avenue that I'm working to be more diligent about uploading and I listen to what they say one particular gallery will I have an actual like concierge that works with me and um, she'll send me emails once a week that she tells me where uh, not everyone gets their own private um, person to work with but um, since I've sold art for them I have one but she'll tell me where uh, I need to work on um, do I need to add more videos of my creating the art do I need to add more uh, pictures of sides in the back she tells me what to do and it's a great it's a great way to um, to get exposure and um, going online that is another doing live you can do live uh, you know on um, you know the YouTube I'm doing you do live on Instagram Facebook um, I'm getting better at doing lives but this gets you 
um, noticed out there and um, people get to know you and have a bond with you. I've met some really incredible artists that I've gotten to know through doing going on on live. Um, so these are just a few things um, that I've done in this past year to bring myself up to date in this environment of, um, of being more isolated in the world. They're fun. Um, I've gotten to know a lot of people. I've been able to bring in some income when the other online galleries and commissions have um, uh, dwindled down um, for the last year um, until things build back up. So I hope that some of these ideas uh, will be helpful to you. And um, let me know in the comments below um, if you try PayHip. Um, if you um, need more uh, information on it or um, if you tried um, you know doing some zoom training or some of the other ideas that that um, you know I've given you let me know I'd love to hear your experience and of course I'd love to know if you have ways that you are building your online presence that will help other people so um, wanted to share this with you and I hope that it was helpful and that um, if I come up with more I'll do another video down the road so thank you I'd love for you to subscribe as of this taping I'm less than 100 I think I'm 996 hours away from my goal of being uh, monetized on Facebook I'd love to to have thumbs up um, I hear that the algorithm um, Facebook promotes you more if you have thumbs up and comments and I would love um, to have that um, and, and to know what you think of the video I want to keep getting better so I hope this helped and you enjoyed it and until next time thank you for your support and listening and um, I wish you the most success in your art journey and you're um, enjoying the process as you're going along while you're learning and growing. So thank you for joining me.